It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Welcome. Thanks for tuning in to our exclusive 2K Sports coverage of the NBA Finals. I'm Ernie Johnson sitting next to the big Aristotle, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Game five looks like it could be a wild ride. And the series being hosted in... 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Game five of the NBA Finals. The Oklahoma City Thunder have been patient, they have endured, and they have prevailed. With a three to one series lead, their sights locked on one goal, one epic culmination of an entire NBA season. The Larry O'Brien Trophy could be theirs with just one more win against the Milwaukee Bucks. This is the NBA Playoffs, and it's up next. Will it end tonight? That's the question as one team battles to shut the door in the season. Another hopes to stave off defeat. The NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Doris Burke, our game analyst, and from the sideline, David Aldridge. Look at Milwaukee. They are certainly in a do-or-die position, trailing three games to one. An uphill climb to be sure. They need to win every game from here on out to stay alive. Yeah, backs against the wall. They're a desperate team. The title clearly slipping away, and they've got a tall task ahead. But it's not out of the realm here for them to be able to do this. Focus on this game. Get this win and go from there. So here's Oklahoma City's starting group. Robertson and George fill out the wings. Brandon Wright is out there with Patrick Patterson. And it's Westbrook in at the one spot. The Bucks shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. The first free throw is good. He's perfect from the line this time. Here's Roberson. To the left side wing. Wright trying to break free. And Westbrook gets it to go on the assist from Roberson. We know this, Kevin. This mid-range game has always been attached to Russell Westbrook. Booker is screen on George. And they double up on Adekumbo. And stolen by Wright. And Roberson kicks to West. Here's George. Not going to go that time. Some solid defense from Ana Kumbo. And it's the Bucks ball. They come into this one following a really disappointing game on Friday. And, you know, this can happen on the road. You're out defending guys who have just gotten into a comfort zone playing at home. Uh, no passion on the defensive end. Didn't look completely engaged. Really need to lock in and be focused on these road games. Here's Booker. Got a piece of it. Well, persistent defense on the part of Patrick Patterson. This guy anticipates the shot and says, no, sir. Here's Westbrook. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. You know what I admire about Russell Westbrook? Were there weaknesses to his game when he came in? No question about it. But his work habits, his desire to excel and improve have turned those weaknesses into strengths. Truly extraordinary. The free throw drops for Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook drops them both. 
Here's Rozier. For Milwaukee, they've gone 0-3 from the field to start the game. All right, now let's find out what head coach Nick Nurse had to say to David Aldridge. David. Obviously, this was not the position they expected to find themselves in, trailing three games to one. But he reminded his guys that it isn't unheard of to be in this position and come back and win the series. In fact, he told me it's happened before, and we plan to make it happen again. He is confident they can still win these finals. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David. Here's Wright. On his honor to Kumbo, making his last shot. Bucks have gone just one of four to get this game started. Paul George with the steal. Oh, and a fast break for Oklahoma City. George has got the ball. It's good from the top of the key. George has got his first points of the night. And this is a shot Paul George makes consistently, right? When he's in rhythm, he's ready to fire off the bounce. And onto Jacumbo, screams it in. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand, and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. And that one's good, George. You have got to be aware of Paul George. He is a knockdown shooter from deep. Bucks trail by three. Ogier, the pass to Book. Got a hand on it. And stolen by Kufus. It's Anadokumbo on the wing, defended by George. Anadokumbo kicks to Middleton. And a great assist by Anadokumbo as that one goes in. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Oklahoma City's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Pass to Patterson. Oklahoma City moving it around. Patterson setting the pick for George. Again, Oklahoma City. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. And there's the pass to Book and the dunk by Booker. Well, at six foot eight, Trevor Booker can absolutely throw it down. My goodness. For Oklahoma City, they've gotten four of six field goal attempts to drop in the first quarter. Patterson passes to Westbrook. Off target from outside. Westbrook's gone one of three shooting so far. Rozier against Westbrook. Middleton outside. The kick out to Rozier. Shot clock at five. Booker is screen on Westbrook. Rozier for three, but they'll get another chance. Middleton left side. Shoots the three, and Wright pulls it down. Oklahoma City shooting it from their comfort zone so far. They're in this one, 57% from the field. Here's Roberson, defended by Middleton. Roberson the pass to Westbrook. Charity swipe shot, and good, as it just snugs right down through the net. And Westbrook is a terror from the mid-range. Terrific at sticking it to the defense from that spot on the floor. There's the pick, and Booker kicks to Rozier. Passes it to Andre Kumbo. Here's Booker. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Well, it's not the defense that caused that miss. That one's all on him. George from deep three-point land misses the three. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. And here is Rogier. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Two shots, gentlemen. He's gone two for two at the line so far. He misses the free throw.
He hits the second from the line. The Thunder with the lead. Down low. Here's Patterson. And it's Patterson finishing it off. Well, Russell Westbrook has excelled at being a facilitator. You love when he's focused on making his teammates better. There's a good screen. Patterson against out of the Kumbo. Astro Rogier launches a three, hits the three-point pop. Rogier's got six. Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. Westbrook against Rogier. From deep, George drains it from beyond the arc. Ten points for him. Wow, unconscious has he been this quarter. Time out, They're time riding out. that hot hand. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. Yeah, you, you can sense he wasn't happy with how things are going here. Probably looking to change it up a bit. Yeah, no, not at all. It's a good call, Greg. They need a fresh new approach here. Let's take this chance now to show you the list of the postseason scoring leaders. Number one, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Fourth, Russell Westbrook. And whether it's been attacking off the bounce or pulling up, both these guys have been lighting it up. On defense, Oklahoma City. It's a three-point game. They set the pick. Adetokounmpo against Westbrook. Adetokounmpo kicks to Booker over Beasley. That one a little long. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Westbrook passes to Farrell. Back to Westbrook. Shot on the wing. Bounces high off the rim and drops. Westbrook's got his third bucket of the night. What a phenomenal quarter from the field. A great shooting percentage, excellent shots. This is really well done. And again, the Bucks miss. I'd say that's been the story of this guy's night. He can't get anything to fall. Easily the screen over Delavidova. Again, the Thunder score. I'll tell you, this guy will not stop pouring it on. It doesn't matter what approach they've tried to use against him. He has had an answer for everything. Here's Dotson. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. And it's good for two. I'll tell you, that's a graceful finish. Not just any old layup. The teardrop. Now here's Westbrook. It's a five-point game. Over Delavidova. And Meeker sends it back. Over in the corner, onto to Kumbo. Inside. Hudson can't hit. Boy, it's tough to see how he misses that one. I, I don't think the defense was all that tight on him. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. The putback, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And now, just a three-point Thunder lead. How about the deft touch right there, guys? He just guided that ball back up and in. Just a fingertip touch on the ball. George, no good. Bucks trail by three. Outside, out of the Kumbo. Here's Dotson. He dishes it to Booker. Excellent D there from Beasley. And so far this quarter, he's been a little off on his game. Yeah, scoring isn't coming naturally to him right now. Looking a little bit uncomfortable out there. And so it's Milwaukee now. Paul George unable to get his shot to go. Here's Dotson. Maker kicks to Delvidova. Back to Maker. They set the pick. Dotson. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. Shakes his man by using exceptional use of the screen. I mean, from there, it's smooth out, sailing. And first time of the game called for Oklahoma City. And not surprising, obviously unhappy with the lack of response from his team. I think, Greg, he just has to get them on the same page. With this kind of lax defensive effort, something has got to change. Jordan Crawford's checked in for Booker. It's George on the wing, defended by Della Badova. Beasley the screen. 
George passes to Beasley. And he can't bank that one in. Beasley against Ada Kumbo. Crawford kicks to Ada de Kumbo. Maker with the ball. Beasley covering. Here's Honda Takumbo. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead. Oklahoma City's gotten just two of six to fall from three-point range so far in the first. Here's Wanamaker. And again, no good by Oklahoma City. Milwaukee's gone three of five from three-point land so far in the ballgame. Dotson gets the bucket. Listen, he's been a key component of their offense tonight. Efficient and effective. Here's Farrell. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. To stop the run. Dotson with the rebound. And they've come out with a take-no-prisoners approach on the glass here tonight, guys. Outside, out of the Kumbo. Pass to Della Vidova. And a great assist by Ada Kumbo as that one goes in. Ada Kumbo's got four assists now tonight. Under trailing by six. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Now the pass to Dotson. Back to Ada Kumbo. And the double up Ada Kumbo. He kicks it to Della Vidova. Passes it to Maker. Here's Honda Takumbo. Excellent D there from Beasley. That's what we're talking about in terms of the activity level defensively. You gotta protect the rim. No, exactly, Greg. Especially when the ball is that deep inside. You've got to respect how he altered that shot. Over in the corner, Della Vidova. Here's Dotson, defended by George. Pass to Ana de Kumbo. Tries it from 19. That one doesn't drop. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. They've done a lot of great work from long range. We'll get right back to the action when we return. George had that nasty broken leg back in 2014. He describes what inspired him to come back even stronger. My inspiration really came from my mother. You know, her dealing with stroke, her dealing with really being down and out. You know, I saw her fight back. That was enough for me. In my darkest days, uh, I knew it was nothing to what my mom went through, and she came out perfectly fine, so. Well, what a story. George worked hard to get back and has not disappointed in his return. You know, recovering from a devastating injury is never easy, but George's perspective and commitment helped him to overcome it. And we're back here at Game 5 with more action about to get underway. And for the Bucks guys, what jumps out to you, stats-wise? Well, I mean, they just got hot early from beyond the arc, and, and we'll just have to wait and see if they can keep that going. Well, you just try to keep riding this wave, right? They've been absolutely dominant from three-point territory. And now, brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. So the Thunder Five right now, we've got Wagner. Beasley is out there with Paul George. And it's Farrell in at the point. Here's Wanamaker following the basket by Thon Maker. Yep, it goes in, and the Milwaukee lead is cut down to just two points in the bucket from Wagner. You know, I think the defense is thinking, I don't have to guard him on the line, but that's just a matter of whether he could knock it down, and he does. Ante Takubo can't get it to go. Oklahoma City has gotten both of their three-point attempts to go down here in the second quarter. Here's Farrell. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. And, and guys, not sure he's going to find a lot of success trying to pull off fancy spin moves like that. Yep, it counts. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. There's a screen in the corner. George with it. Dotson with the rebound. 
Dotson's got four rebounds now tonight. I'll tell you, his inconsistency not helping their cause at all. Boy, what a tough night. Imagine what their lead would be if he were having a better night from the field. Well, he carves out the space he needs, just the finish was not good. Pass to Ansa Takumbo. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That one is on Beasley. You know, we always talk about what a rare talent Giannis is, and it's true. Uh, unrivaled athleticism and versatility. He misses the free throw. Both teams will make substitutions. So we can't get either to fall. Thunder trailing by four. Here's Roberson. Defended by Middleton. Out left of the wing. Here's Wanamaker. The Thunder with another miss. Bucks leading by four. Here's Honda Takumbo. It's good. Honda Takumbo's got the lead up to six now for Milwaukee. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling now. Mike sets a screen. To the right side. Wanamaker, and he sinks the shot coming off the strong pick. Wanamaker's got his first basket of the night. Oh, nice screen. Really a poor defensive reaction and the obvious result. You simply can't give him that. Uh, you have to fight through the screen and at least get a hand in the face of the shooter. Now, here's Kufus. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. Crawford kicks to Middleton. The Bucks need to get a shot off here. Under trailing by four. Here's Wanamaker, guarded by Crawford. And Wanamaker gets it to go. I mean, it's just fun to sit back and enjoy watching him operate. And that's what it looked like the D was doing as well. They're just sitting back and watching. Now here's Crawford. Back to Anadokounmpo. For three, Middleton. That shot off, and the Thunder going the other way now. Thunder have gone four of eight so far here in the second quarter. Right with a screen on Rozier. Here's Farrell, and he hits it to tie the game up. It's a tie ball game. How about the burst of speed toward the cup? Once Yogi Farrell gets a little step on the defense, turn the lights out. It's Crawford on the wing. No good on the three. Thunder have gotten just over 50% of their shots to drop here in the second quarter. They're five for nine. Roberson the pass to Farrell. Patterson a screen on Rogier. Here's Farrell onto the Kumbo defending. Here's Patterson and Oklahoma City again with the bucket. Well, the classic stretch four, right? Patrick Patterson creates so much space when he hits these mid-range jumpers. Nice. Here's Farrell. Right with a screen on Rogier. Here's Farrell. Rogier defending. Right sets a screen. Here's Roberson. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Here's Honda Takumbo. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. All oh, the officials are all over that one. He's 0 of 2 at the line in this one.
That's good from out of the Kumbo. Well, showing a lot more aggressiveness now after making zero trips to the line in the first quarter. Trevor Booker, he's checked in now for the Bucks. Both good from the line that time. Thunder have gone 6 of 11 from the floor. Over 50% shooting here in the second quarter. Westbrook dishes to Robertson. Out to the right wing. Wide open look. And Wanamaker gets it to go. Wanamaker's got six points. Boy, nice team basketball being played right there. You see the open man and you deliver the ball right away. They get it back. Rogier kicks to Kufus. They set the screen. Middleton on the wing over Westbrook. And Middleton the bucket on the assist by Kufus. Middleton's got it all tied up now for the Bucks. The Thunder have gotten seven of their 12 field goal attempts to drop here in the second quarter. Up over 50%. Westbrook passes to Roberson. Right wing. Here's Wanamaker. And he gets it to go. Hitting off the back of the rim. Wanamaker's got eight here in the quarter. Oh, great ball movement there. Milwaukee's gone five and nine when they put up the three-point shot tonight. Rozier kicks to Booker. This is the Middleton. Layup off the pick. And that one, good. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. Right with a screen on Middleton. And Wanamaker gets it to go. Ten points for him. Now really found his stroke here in the second quarter after missing everything in the first. Rozier with the ball. Westbrook picks him up. Westbrook against Rozier. There's a good screen. Middleton outside. Shoots the three. Westbrook pulls it in. Well, I'll tell you, still looking for that first three of the second quarter. He had one to open this game in the first. And Wanamaker gets it to go. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. Adetokounmpo kicks to Rozier. Here's Booker. Misses from short range. And here are the Thunder now. They're on a 16-6 run. Back to Westbrook. Now the pass to Roberson. Right sets a screen. To the left wing. Here's Wanamaker. Carries it from three-point range. Wanamaker's got the lead up to seven now for the Thunder. They've settled into a nice groove offensively here in the second. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Right side, onto the Kumbo. Yep, that one goes. Onto the Kumbo's got eight points in the quarter. I tell you, you get the feeling he's only going to get better as this game wears on. That first quarter was good. His second quarter has been great. Now, here's Westbrook. Ten points for him. Kufus with the block. And now, here comes Anadokounmpo, leading the break, and stolen by Patterson. Rozier against Westbrook. Passes it to Wanamaker. There's the pick. Patterson, the screen, puts up a three. Booker pulls it in. Booker's got nine rebounds in the game, getting it done. Middleton with it, guarded now by Patrick Patterson. He can't get it to go. Well, I'll tell you, it hasn't been his best quarter, but we know he won't get discouraged. This guy will keep grinding. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. It's out of the Kumbo on the wing. And it falls over the rim and in. Andre Dekumbo's got 14 points for the game. 
And, and really, the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts, doing all he can to bring him back. And, and nobody, guys, among the defenders stepping up to challenge him on that drive to the 10. And, Greg, he says thank you very much and <laughs> sails in for the flush. Yeah, you know, they may have gotten the feeling he would dish it off, but he had a surprise for them. Timeout called the Bucks, And clearly, he's in a lot of pain. They, they call time, and the trainer's going to get a chance to go out and check him over. And on the screen now is the 2K leaderboard with the rundown of this postseason's assist leaders. Russell Westbrook is second. And it seems like he's taking it on his shoulders to get every one of his teammates involved in the offense here in the postseason. What a passing display. And so it's Milwaukee with it. Pass to Delavidova. Kicks it to Booker. Here's Dotson. No good with the triple. Oklahoma City leading by five. Here's Westbrook. Misses off the right iron. Boy, that's a tough miss. Does well to get himself open and then botches it up. Maker dishes to Delavidova. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. I'll tell you, the feed puts him in prime position to convert. The assist was where it needed to be. Pass to Westbrook. Here's Wanamaker. He kicks to George. Connects from three-point range. He's got 16. He's going to force them to have to make adjustments. That's number four in terms of triples in the half. Here's the screen. Feeds it to Booker. Looking to get back on track here. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Beasley's got five rebounds tonight. Outside, George. Fifty-six seconds left in the first half. Tips it up, and Westbrook is right there. And now an eight-point Oklahoma City lead. A top rebounder from the lead guard position. Russell Westbrook's athleticism is off the charts. Now here's Maker. Here's Booker. And no good that time. Excellent D there from Beasley. And this is obviously where you'd like to see a two for one. Absolutely. You have to execute. No reason why they can't get a couple of chances at scores. Now here is Della Vadova. Paul George unable to get his shot to go. Della Vadova kicks to Antetokounmpo. Here's Booker and the dunk by Booker. And he just leaves the D in the dust and, and explodes to the basket. You're right. Uh, maybe a momentum changer right there, huh? And if you can blame it on a terrible defensive breakdown, one that could possibly swing the momentum here. Now Westbrook. For Oklahoma City, they have had two chances at the line already, making them both. He misses the free throw. Good on the second free throw. And so it's Oklahoma City heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. Their defense has been active and effective. Back to the action after this word. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Well, we certainly hope you enjoyed the first half. There's nothing like the NBA Finals. I'm Ernie Johnson with Kenny Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Looking at the Thunder, they've been in control for most of this series and put together another solid half of basketball tonight. You know they can smell that championship, hoping to close things out now in the second half of this Game 5. Shaq, your thoughts on the Thunder? In simple truth, they just got hot. 
Didn't matter what the defense was doing, Ernie. They were definitely able to rise above it. Even the tough shots. Did you see that one shot? I don't know how they even went down. They can carry this over to the second half. It's going to be hard to beat them, boy. Woo wee. And over to Kenny. Your thoughts on the Bucks? I felt they had a lack of intensity defensively. They gave up way too many threes. I mean, somebody needs to pull out the fire hose because this fire is out of control, and it certainly wasn't because of their defense. And now with the second half about to get underway, let's send you back courtside. See everybody with Kevin Harlan. Welcome back to the Great Lakes. We're back on the shores of Lake Michigan here in Milwaukee in the buildings in the background at sunset in Wisconsin. Welcome back to our coverage of the NBA Finals. More action straight ahead. Middleton and Giannis are out on the wings. Booker out there with Costa Cupas. And it's Rozier in at the point. That's Nick Nurse's five as we get into the second half. Good on the bucket. Westbrook can absorb contact, Kevin. He's got great focus and great finishing ability. Bucks trail by nine. George against Adetokounmpo. And the double up Adetokounmpo. And stolen by Patterson. George, that's a two-pointer. And again, it's Oklahoma City. And when Paul George has this kind of rhythm and pace to his game, you simply want the ball in his hands as much as possible. Ogier, the pass to Anadokounmpo. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. That one on George. The Bucks have made five of eight of their free throw attempts. At the line for two. The first one falls. He's perfect from the line this time. Now here's Westbrook. Oklahoma City leading by nine. The pass to Roberson. Kicks it to George. Takes a three. Hangs home the trifecta. George has got five points now in the quarter. That makes three in a row to start the second half. Passes it to Kufis. Now the dish to Antetokounmpo. And onto Takumbo sends it in. And didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope. He, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. Now, here's Westbrook. He's got 15. Out to the right wing. Patterson, the screen. Tipped away. And out of bounds as the Bucks gain possession. <laughs> the ball he's got eight in the corner Middleton with it that's good and it's Rozier with the assist and it's eight points for Chris Middleton well that, that's one way he can finish but far from the only way he gets it done he's got all kinds of tricks up his sleeve back to Patterson and it's Patterson finishing it off Paul George will force you to stay balanced defensively because if you have a miscue he will find the open guy Rozier kicks to Adetokounmpo. He dishes it to Kufus. 
No one near Rozier as he lets it fly. And Costa Kufus picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. Oklahoma City leading by six. And Wright kicks to West. Out to Kumbo against George. Back to Westbrook. Wright sets a screen for Westbrook. Shot off the pick. Milwaukee with the rebound. A blown opportunity after the two-man game creates a terrific look. Well, he simply misfired. I mean, you've got to capitalize when the screen opens up wide open shots like that. Great play calling, great execution leads to four for four to start this half. Right, trying to break free, and that one's good. Westbrook. Westbrook's got 17. You have to do the best you can to keep Russell Westbrook out of the paint because he does some of his best work right there. Down low, layup off the pick. Moves back up. Antetokounmpo can't get it to go. Boy, that's high impact defense in the lane. Standing tall to deny the easy bucket. And George kicks to Westbrook. Another miss by Westbrook. Well, you don't get much more wide open inside the arc. He simply got to make that shot. And it's Paul George with the puck. That's foul timeout, number timeout. two for him. Milwaukee making a switch here. Crawford's checked in. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Without question, George is playing his skills today. Well, I think this is a necessary timeout so they can figure out a way to limit the impact this guy's having from three-point range. They've got to dedicate more resources to their perimeter D. Kufus kicks to Middleton. They set the pick. And here's Crawford. Now the feed to Antetokounmpo. Shoots over Patterson. And with that, the Thunder lead is cut down to just four points in the bucket from Antetokounmpo. Oklahoma City has gotten a positive outcome on seven of their 14 three-pointers in this game. Not bad at all. Right with it. Rufus is there. Westbrook can't get it to go. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on. And one area where they haven't struggled has been transition. Yeah, they've had less success when they allow the defense to get set. That's why they want to keep pushing the pace. And it's out of bounds. Oklahoma City able to retain possession here. And defensively, great anticipation making a play there on the ball. Well, superb awareness, Greg, right? Not allowing them to get comfortable running their offense, being super aggressive. Now, here's George. He's got 21. Over onto the Kumbo. The Thunder with another miss. And defensively moving his feet there, staying right on top of the shooter. What a great job contesting without fouling. Exactly how you want to defend the mid-range shot. And how about the splendid four vision from Antetokounmpo? A good decision maker improves his passing each and every year. Here's Wright. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Here's Rozier, and the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. Hey, guys, that's a big swing right there. I mean, taking the steal and then turning it into two easy points on the dunk. No telling how important that sequence could turn out to be. Yeah, you know, sometimes your gut tells you to take a shot at the pick and then big move to keep the pressure on. Milwaukee leading by three. Pass to Middleton. Going to go that time. Excellent D there from George. To the inside. Very pretty alley of limb. Love the attitude of Westbrook. Continues to improve at running the offense and finding ways to create opportunities for his teammates. Now, here's Rogier. 11 points in the game. You know what? His finishing ability, not really at the level that you would expect from a pro, but he's going to have to start playing with more force. Third quarter here and five lead changes so far. And guys, neither team has been able to pull away. It's Cooper's atop the key. 
There's the foul. It's on Patrick Patterson. That'll be his second foul of the game. Akers checked in for Costa Cooper's. So it's the Bucks now. Here's Honda Takumbo. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Wagner's got his fifth rebound in this one. To the inside. Rogier with the steal. Honda Takumbo passes to Crawford. And all around the win that time before dropping in. Crawford's got his second basket. And they've had assists now on their last three baskets. Oklahoma City trailing. Here's Westbrook. And he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. Westbrook's got 19 points. I love how Westbrook rises and fires immediately. Ball touches his hands, and it's gone before you can blink. Kumbo kicks to Rozier. From the baseline. The putback, it's good on the putback. And the Bucks lead by one. Neither side has relented a bit in this back and forth affair. And you can sense the energy in the building already as this game is starting to build towards having a terrific finish. Here's Farrell. And Maker sends it back. Under the Kumbo kicks to Rozier. And shot opportunity. Basket is good, and he'll get a chance for one more at the free throw line. And really an alert play on the glass there to get that second chance opportunity. He's having one of those games that we've really grown accustomed to seeing him put forth. And he's back to back games like this. He is on a tear, competing with every ounce of energy he's got. Here's what Milwaukee's going with right now. Dodson's checked in, and it's Matthew Delavadova in for Terry Rozier. That's good from out of the Kumbo. Thunder trailing by four. Farrell passes to Wagner. Got a piece of it. Stolen by Delavidova. And Wagner pulls it down. Wagner's got his sixth rebound on the night. To the inside. And George with the stuff. Plays like that demonstrate Paul George's athletic ability. He's not just an elite scorer. He is a high flyer. And that was an Unleashed Chaos moment indeed. What a spectacular play. Sponsored by Under Armour Hover Habit. Now here's Ade Dekumbo. 27 points for him. Shot off the pick. And Maker with the basket on the assist from Ade Dekumbo. And that's now six points for Thon Maker. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. You look at Ana Dekumbo really making a difference here. Well, I think during this timeout, they've got to talk about ways to deny the basketball to him. That's the key, because when he gets it, chances are he's going to score. Thunder trailing by four. George against Crawford. Outside, George. Crawford. Good on that shot. With that, the Bucks' lead is cut down to just two points in the bucket from George. Uh, how good, Kevin, is Paul George at getting separation? He uses the screen perfectly and sticks it to the defense. Now here's Crawford. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. You know, you've got to be composed mentally right now at this time of the game. It, it's really careless play right there. Oklahoma City moving it around. Pass to Wagner. And Maker sends it back. Now Delavidova. He's got five. It's out of the Kumbo on the wing. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Wagner's got his seventh rebound here tonight. To the middle. Here's George. The shot goes down and he gets this game back to even. George has got the game tied up here for Oklahoma City. Milwaukee's gotten the three ball working for them in the second half. They've hit three out of three shots from long range. 
Down it goes. Nice one there from Ade de Kumbo. Ade de Kumbo's got 29 in the game. Hey guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. Farrell passes to Wagner. It's tipped. Here's Beasley. And no good. Some solid defense from Ade de Kumbo. One thirty-five left in the third quarter of the game. They set the pick. The Bucks have attempted eleven free throws today and converted eight of them. The first free throw is good. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. Booker, he's checked in for the Bucks. And so he's able to get one of two. Thunder trailing by three. Farrell kicks to Beasley, to the paint. They grab their own miss. Here's George. Some solid defense from Ana Kumbo. Affecting the shot in a big way there. Excellent defense. Well, you talk about getting into the space of the shooter. This is how you defend the paint. And uh, now looks like we've got an injury here, guys. We'll likely see him come out of the game. And I'll tell you, this is the last thing you want to see. I just feel so bad for him. What he's going through right now, you just have to hope and pray that it's not too serious. Chris Middleton's checked in for the Bucks. Bucks leading by three. 106 left here in the third quarter. Delavan over with the ball. He's up against Beasley. A nice shot by Booker. No, just terrific hustle from Trevor Booker. He is just gobbling up these second chance points thanks to his effort. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Yep, it goes in, and the Milwaukee lead is cut to just three points on the basket from George. And not being as aggressive from the three-point line anymore. They had a lot more attempts in that first half. Now here's Middleton. He's got 11. Maker kicks to Del Vidova. The pass to Dotson. On deep. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. And they're trailing by three. Don't have to be in a hurry. They can hold for the last one. And I think that's exactly what you'll see here, right? They don't want the other team getting that final look. Middleton on the wing. On the wing, Booker. Over Beasley. No good trying to beat the buzzer. Giannis Antetokounmpo, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for the Milwaukee Bucks. He has been a determined scorer today. 29 points altogether for him. And I think there's more where that came from. Back to the action after this word. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, making the game easy for your teammates, Greg. All about putting them in a position to score. That's pretty. Right, the fourth quarter of action getting underway. We've had a great one so far with both sides coming to play. Okay, time now for an injury report. Now for an update on Andy Kumbo's injury, let's go over to David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, I caught up with Milwaukee's head athletic trainer. After taking a look, he informed me that it doesn't look too bad. To have an injury like this now in the NBA Finals, just flat out unlucky. Kevin? All right, David, thank you. Hopefully everything works out for him. Taking a look at the Thunder, Beasley is out there with Paul George, and it's Farrell in at the point guard position. And the feed from George couldn't be better. The, the timing, the placement, everything about that dish was pinpoint. Middleton for three, 
It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. The Thunder with the lead on the wing, George. And the Thunder, another three. Yeah, in the first half, he was unstoppable from deep. Now, two more since the break. Bucks trail by five. Elvin over the pass to Maker. Bucks passing it around. Got it. Nice one there from Delavidova. Yeah, nothing too fancy. It, just getting the job done when they need to make every possession count. Easily the screen to the middle. The shot comes out, and Milwaukee will come the other way. Passes to Dotson. Let's it go with the three. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. George has got rebound number five here tonight. Farrell for three. And again, Oklahoma City with the triple. Yeah, the D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. Now here's Middleton. Maker kicks to Middleton. To the right side. Hell of it over from outside. And Wagner pulls it down. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Easily the screen. Here's Wanamaker, defended by Booker. George against Middleton. George passes to Wanamaker. That falls. Nice speed that time from George. George has got three assists now in this one. Bucks trail by nine. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Maker kicks to Middleton. But they'll get another chance. The momentum continues to go their way. Pretty much the story of the game. Now, here's Maker. Back to Middleton. Booker outside. Pass to Dotson. From downtown, the Thunder pull it in. Wagner's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Wanamaker off the mark there with the three-point shot. Boy, all sorts of space around him. If he can't hit those, the defense not going to worry too much about him. Yeah, he just punched the ticket on that one. That'll get the job done. Powerful two-hand jam. Oklahoma City leading by seven. Time called here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. And with a fourth quarter push coming up here, the coach going over the game plan and these players rehydrating themselves with Gatorade, recharging their bodies, refocusing their minds, and getting that strategy down to close out the game. So it's both teams making substitutions here. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, during that last break, I heard Billy Donovan talking to his team. He told his team to keep looking for those perimeter shots. He said their defense is not respecting us, so let's keep shooting until they come out on us, guys. Now, here's Patterson. Patterson, the screen, and here's Westbrook from the arc. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Westbrook's got nine points now in just the second half. Rozier against Westbrook. In the corner, Middleton with it. Kufis the pass to Rozier. Takes a three. The rebound by Patterson. Patterson's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Roberson. Defended by Della Vadova. And Roberson kicks to Patterson. Wright sets a screen. Westbrook off the pick. That one a little long. Now kicking himself on that one. That is the shot he wanted. Well, that's usually money in the bank for that guy. Not sure how he missed that one. And it's Kufus missing. Yeah, good interior D there prevents the deuce. Well, if he wasn't there, that shot's going in. Love the effort on the defensive end. And, and barely anyone in the area, and still he whiffs on the bunny. Rogier, the pass to Delavidova. Stolen by Westbrook. And it's tipped to the inside over Rogier. And Westbrook gets it to go on the assist by George. 
George has got his fourth assist in this one. Rozier kicks to Booker. Here's Della Vidova. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City, and it's Oklahoma City's ball. They're on a 16-4 run right now. And stolen by Booker. Middleton against George. Middleton outside. Knocked loose. And oh, here we go with George. Nobody back. And it's George finishing it off. Well, the length of Paul George creating opportunities for his team. He covers an awful lot of ground with that wingspan. Della Vidova kicks to Booker. Rozier against Westbrook. Looking to end the drought. And it's Rozier missing. Gets it to very close range, but there was no way the defense going to back off and give him that layup. Here's Roberson, defended by Della Vidova. Here's Roberson. Patterson, the screen. And Roberson kicks to George. Misses the three, and he used the pump fake well there, but he couldn't capitalize. Middleton dishes to Della Vidova. Misses, and the dry spell continues. Here's Oklahoma City. They're on an 18-4 run right now. Oberson and the dunk by Robertson. The athleticism from Andre Robertson. My goodness, power at the cup. The Bucks making a switch here. Dotson's checked in. And that one misses. Well, an elite perimeter defender, Andre Robertson uses that impressive length to bother players. What a solid role player this guy has become. And the action on hold, as it appears there's been an injury. Yep, he's definitely in a bad way out there right now. Tough to see. Yeah, it looks like he's in real pain. Definitely a concern right now. Well, these are the moments that can be gut-wrenching for him and his team, right? Anytime you see an injury like this, certainly your heart goes out to him and to his family. Thon Makers checked in for Costa Cooks. And they just tried everything to stem the tide here, but nothing seems to work. Well, Greg, I think this other team is just in a zone right now. They're clicking on the offensive end, and the defense starting to look frustrated. Now, here's Westbrook. Here's Patterson. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. There's the pick. Poked away and stolen by Wright. Right side, George. And the refs are going to rule that unnecessary contact. It's a flagrant one foul. And, Kevin, that's a pretty dangerous play right there. I mean, I don't like to see a player put an opponent in harm's way as much as you just saw him do there. Glad they pinned a, a flagrant on it. Yeah, you're right, Greg. The officials were all over it. They weren't going to let him off the hook that time. He's off on the first. Well, to me, Paul George exemplifies what a leader should be. This guy does not look for his personal stats. He just wants to make the guys around him better. He hits the second from the line. And so it's Oklahoma City with it. Here in the fourth, they've allowed just four points. And finished off by Wright. And they're just dominating on both ends. And it's reflected now in the score. Well, absolutely, Greg. They're absolutely rolling in sync totally on both the offensive and defensive ends. Now, here's Rogier. Westbrook against Booker. They need this. That shot misses, and it's Oklahoma City the other way. George with no one around, and that one comes up a bit short. And for Milwaukee, they're shooting 40% from the field. 
And Middleton kicks to Dotson. Knocked away. Pass to Rogier. And the Bucks miss again. I'll tell you, he's had a tough night. And if you're going to shake out of a slump, he's not going to do it with those kinds of shots. Wasted no time on that one. 26 points for Russell Westbrook. Well, this is where you believe as a defender you have Westbrook's shot blocked. And then just like that, it's in the bucket. Middleton, the pass to Rogier. Maker with the ball. Back to Rogier. Looking to end the drought. He squares up and sinks it. How about the screen that frees him up, though, for the jump? The Thunder leading by 23. Westbrook against Rogier. Westbrook double team. Inside. Patterson, that's good. Patterson's got six in the quarter. Well, we know that Patrick Patterson can step away and be a force as a face-up guy, but still plenty dangerous inside. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Here's Booker. It's tipped, and he recovers it. And good that time. And the Thunder with the possession here. Oklahoma City's gone 4-6 from beyond the arc in the fourth quarter so far. Wright sets a screen. Rozier against Westbrook. Terrific design on the big play, and he lays it in. Westbrook's got 15 points here in the second half. 144 left in the fourth quarter. Here's Dotson, defended by George. Rozier against Westbrook. Now, here's Rozier. He's covered by Westbrook, and they force the shot clock violation. Great D. And the Bucks with some changes. Wilson, he's checked in for Booker. Tony Snell comes in for Chris Middleton. And Jordan Crawford is subbed in for Rozier. Oklahoma City dictating the flow. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 25. And wow, that's the end of an epic journey taken by both these teams in unbelievable fashion. Get the NBA title rings ready, folks, for Oklahoma City. You don't see this kind of a blowout often, but tonight this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. They just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Paul George. Boy, with all the work he did at the offensive end, it seemed to me to take a toll on the defenders. They could neither match his energy nor his intensity. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. Now here's Crawford. His three-pointers off the mark. Oklahoma City dictating the flow. And they can just dribble the ball until the buzzer. Yeah, they got to be happy with the outcome. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Wright sets a screen, and here's Westbrook from the arc. Wilson grabs the board. Crawford outside. City Thunder are your new NBA champions. What a moment it is right now to see the team who played so well together enjoying this NBA championship moment. And you talk about a defining moment. This is it. They have played so well together. They deserve every ounce of this NBA championship moment. And seeing this team come together over the course of the season and on into the playoffs, what a joy. I mean, there is no better champion the league could have asked for. And a pleasure here at 2K Sports to be with you all season long. Good night, everyone.